I came to Prague to teach a, a workshop on spirituals and I prepared a number of songs. But the morning of the workshops, I woke up with this song in my head. It's, it's a song that I know that I've sung. It's not part of my repertoire. Um, I opened my eyes onto... Nechci furt remcat na, na to, v jakém prostředí žiju, já tady žiju hrozně ráda, ale kdybych jako měla říct, co mě tady trošičku schází, tak to právě taková ta dynamičnost a ta otevřenost těch emocích a to je prostě něco, co tady ta paní Andrán se nás jako hrozně přivezla, že jo. But it was in my head as I got up from my sleep over and over and over. So I got on the internet and looked for the words, the right words, and, uh, and found it. Gospel music is the musical expression of the Christian faith, and certainly for most African and Caribbean people. It is a music that was born out of that terrible time in our history uh, of the slave trade and slavery, when African people were enslaved, um, mainly by Europeans, and, and taken to, uh, to the Americas and to the Caribbean. And in their oppression and in their struggle for freedom, they found ways to want to communicate that despair, um, but also to communicate hope of a better, better place, a place where they, they can be free. Není až tak důležitý to, jestli je člověk křesťan nebo muslim, ale spíš o tom, jestli třeba miluje tenhle svět a si to dokáže projevit v tým hudbě. Also used as coded messages to, to the other um, Africans to find their ways to freedom, to the places in America that were free. So you had songs like, uh, steal away, steal away, steal away to Jesus. It was a way of, of them communicating to the others that tonight is a night that we're going to escape. And we're going to escape through the river, wade in the water, Wait in the water, children, now wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. So they use the songs in, in many ways. Their slave masters thought that they were singing about God and Jesus when they were really singing about freedom. Amazing Grace is a song, but well, the lyrics anyhow of the song were written by John Newton and he was a captain of a slave, of a slave ship and the, the ship, the stories I've read, the ship, he, in, in fact he was very anti-God, he, he was an atheist, but the ship that he was traveling on got into a storm one night in 1748 and they would all die, probably. But he, for the first time, 
actually got down and prayed and said, Lord, if you save me, I will give my life to you. Even though he converted to Christianity and wrote this very powerful song about his conversion many years after, he didn't turn away from the evil of the slave trade. Apparently he continued being the captain of a slave ship. His lyrics were based on the music of, the, of, of slave songs that he may have heard them humming when they were working or when they were on the ship. And he put the words to the, to the, to the music to create amazing grace. Many people think that that's a spiritual and they don't know the, the origins of, um, of that song, you know? I say that the song itself is, has relevance to you. If, you. if it has relevance to you, then the story, the background should not make a difference. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. Mám hroznou rád, že na ty díly chodí hodně jako pestrá vždycky jako skupina od důchodců přes prostě studenty, paní z kanclu přijde a tamhle prostě chirurg, třeba jo, pan, paní, pana, paní, oba chirurgové přišli a e, fakt jako strašně jako pestrá vlastně společnost, jezdí i občas lidi ze zahraničí, z čeho, z čehož mám strašnou radost samozřejmě. Povede, tak vždycky si fakt představuju, že také země tryská a když dospívám, tak jsem úplně čistá. Jak vysprchovaná, tak to je pro mě zpívání. No. Tak jo, děkuji. Sám málem práskla do tyče, co? <laughs>